check it out. I'm playing through one of these Galaxy spruce top guitars. Um, they have spruce on the top here and mahogany on the side and um, a little F hole, a little chambered section here and uh, two P90s. Now we take these P90s apart and we install fancy glitter. Well, we get these metal tops here. This is a metal top with a black finish. And then we install this um, cool sparkly stuff and check them out. And they sound great, but then they look amazing on top of that. So yeah, bound top, bound fretboard. These are fun, these are awesome. Really cool sound. I think the last video I did, I put it through the 68 Princeton, which was really bright. And these are bright pickups. So I'm playing through a, a 1980 uh, twin reverb. It's like a Rivera era thing. So it has gain and clean. So it's not quite as, uh, bright as the other amp and I think these pickups go nicely with that um, so in case you thought this was too bright and you heard the other video most amps aren't going to be so bright uh, I don't know this the old 68 for instance just has a real brightness to it which is good for certain guitars you put a less ball through that or even a strat it's a good sound yeah, you can tone it down too I just noticed it when I watched the video later but now we're hearing a nice mid-range <laughs> You know, whenever you can push into a string and it gives back with a compression, well, that's the best. How about both? I can really push in and give it all I got and get something back out of it. So that's why I like to put some lead or some gain on that sort of sound too, because it really gives a good sound. Also, what I was doing was I was playing through this Echoplex here, and that's like a 70s Echoplex. Um, it's an EP3, and um, I got it smashed all the way up to doubling effect, and oh man, I love doing that. Let's hear it again with all together. <laughs> Um, Jeff Beck jamming with Les Paul. It was like some volunteer jam or something. I think Billy Squire was hosting it. And just Jeff Beck and Les Paul on stage. And um, Jeff Beck had this tone. He had to have been going to an Echo Plex. It was, it was that sound. And, um, you know, he's just blowing away Les Paul. I mean, Les Paul's great, obviously. He's got the clean sound. He's doing his little diminished runs and stuff. And then Les Paul, I mean, uh, Jeff Beck comes in and he's just like, <laughs> with the fingers and stuff and at one point Les Paul even like unplugs his guitar and he can't take it anymore and I don't even think uh, Jeff Peck was very happy about having his guitar unplugged he looked kind of pissed <laughs> it was pretty funny right but uh, the tone is just great you know and I, I've always wanted to recreate that sound I think we're kind of getting it here I don't know what amp he was using something with some gain let's try it again with the bridge pickup maybe this time here <laughs> It's such a um, great feeling, you know, to have the tone that you like and coming back at you. You can play better, you know, it's just a great thing. Um, let's try this Egoplex with just the clean, I guess, here. Let's see. That's like the same, isn't it? So we can get a good echo sound. We're just got to bring up the echo a little more in the same time. 